Second half goals from Jack Hendry and a Ryan Christie penalty saw Scotland recover from behind to overwhelm Ireland at Hampden Park, returning top of their Nations League group. The hosts began purposely in possession, advancing intently with Captain John McGinn and Lyndon Dykes among those charging forward. Ryan Christie and Scott McTominay both had hopeful first half efforts before Ireland twice had the ball in the back of the net. The first was correctly ruled offside as Troy Parrott's overlapping run was a touch early before he wriggled free to score. He combined with Michael Obafemi to threaten once more shortly later, though Hendry made a big block to fend him off in the area. There wasn't much anyone could do about John Egan's well-struck opener, though, in the 18th minute. Jason Malumbi reacted quickest to flick the ball into the danger zone after a partial clearance, with the centre-back smashing beyond Craig Gordon at his near post. Scotland responded well to that setback, creating a series of hard chances. Begin snatched up two chances in three minutes, while they also had a penalty shout ignored as Parrott fouled Tierney in the box. The Arsenal man couldn't continue with a head knock, but soon enough they would equalise shortly after the restart. Christie was unchallenged and crossed into the area for an unmarked Hendry, who headed in off the post. Doro O'Shea and Nathan Collins made last-ditch challenges to help weather the Scotland storm, before Parrott missed a great chance to retake the lead. McGregor's loose pass saw Obafemi sprint clear, and Gordon did well to thwart him from close range, though he really should have scored. Chidoze Obene, all in Obafemi's place, made himself a nuisance and almost scored too, while Matt Doherty and Egan made timely blocks as Scotland threatened again. Questions were raised and a lengthy VAR check needed after Scotland were awarded a bounty, with Alan Brown handling McTominay's header. Ryan Christie was composed in sending Bazuni the long way to make it 2-1, and that was how they saw it out. 2-1 the final score.